and uh, the title, An American in Paris, Gershwin and Friends, is uh, my fascination with interpersonal connections in composers' lives in a sense that I feel it's very important for an artist to never look at one composer as an island in and of itself. I think there are always inspirations and heartbreaks and all of these little secrets that if you uncover, you are able to connect to that piece and that composer with greater depth and uh, much, much greater meaning. So on our program, we have four composers, including uh, the gentleman born on that day, George Gershwin. And we conclude the program with his iconic Rhapsody in Blue, which he composed in the year 1924. So this is a really interesting moment in Gershwin's life. He has a phenomenal success with the premiere of Rhapsody in Blue, so much so that almost immediately all of these opportunities are flowing to him. He is immediately commissioned to write a concerto. So the following year, 1925, we have the premiere of his concerto in F. So tremendously successful and exciting time. However, this is what I find incredibly intriguing. He is very, very dissatisfied with all of this. He wants a much, much deeper understanding of the art of composition. He doesn't really feel himself to, to be a, a serious composer. And so only four years after this very successful premiere, he leaves to go and spend some time in Paris where he will encounter some of the most legendary and iconic figures. And so I labored over the program, really making sure I hand selected pieces and composers that fit into this particular chapter just perfectly. And I'm incredibly proud of the group that we now have. So we will begin with the Sonatine with um, uh, a connection to the French master Maurice Ravel, who not only was a, a wonderful friend and a great supporter of Gershwin, but he actually himself drew from Gershwin quite a bit, when, especially when he comes to New York and they spend some time in Harlem going to various jazz clubs. It really becomes a, a great source of inspiration to um, Ravel and a lot of his works that exhibit that jazzy element. The second composer on the program, Igor Stravinsky, is someone who established himself in Paris with his three Russian ballets and I will be performing the first one, the Firebird, which premiered in 1910 and was a riveting success and he then established himself for quite some time in Paris and that is where the encounter with Gershwin will happen. And then the third figure that I'll be highlighting on our program on Sunday is Nadia Boulanger. So Boulanger is known as a legendary educator and a professor of composition specifically. She was the teacher of Aaron Copeland and Elliot Carter and Philip Glass uh, and uh, we even come to all the way to our times with Quincy Jones uh, who is one of her students and actually had the tremendous joy of meeting uh, Quincy Jones all the way back in 2001. It was incredibly inspiring. So I am thrilled to highlight her, uh, not just as a, an important educator, but also as a composer. So I'll be playing one of her compositions and we will be examining the really interesting relationship that Boulanger and Gershwin had. And she also was a, a tremendous supporter and believer in his talent. Thank you. 